This happened 77 days back. There was not a single arrest made till this morning. And the reality is that the chief minister in also that viral video has said this is not an isolated incident and hundreds of such incidents have happened. With what right and with what moral authority does Biren Singh continue to be the chief minister of Manipur? Crime against women are happening right under his nose. There is absolute collapse of law and order. He continues to be in office and that is the travesty of our times. The travesty of our times is that a video that was made 77 days back did not see a single arrest, the Prime Minister issues a shameless statement and instead of speaking on Manipur for a long time in his 8 minute 25 second video statement he speaks on Manipur for 36 seconds and diverts the issue to Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. I am absolutely certain that the Prime Minister knew exactly what was happening in Manipur. He did not wake up to that video which came from 77 days back yesterday. The Prime Minister is as complicit in this heinous crime, in this heinous case of sexual violence against women, like those people are in that video. Two women uh, naked in Manipur, Chief Justice of uh, India, D.Y. Chantur, asked the government to take action. I think India's highest court is showing a mirror to an elected government. The elected government has looked the other way. Manipur has been burning. Women have been at the receiving end of this travesty as of the sexual violence, of heinous crimes that are happening. The Prime Minister did not till this morning speak a word on Manipur. And even now he's making half-hearted, absolutely shameless statements on Manipur. The reality is that the Supreme Court taking Suomoto cognizance is a huge slap on the face of an elected government here in the center and also in Manipur. They both stand in the dock.